Surely you have heard about the Minecraft movie, and as you can see on the official Twitter, in 2019 they had announced that this movie will be released on March 4th of the year 2022. It is just around the corner. And that day, March 4, 2022, day that was already passed, many users on Twitter began to tweet their opinions on Minecraft movie. Can't wait. Hey guys, can't wait for the movie. I enjoy it. When the Minecraft movies drop on us on March 4, with no warning. Okay, no, that never happened. But when you try to go to the movies to see the amazing Minecraft movie, the movie managers will tell you that it doesn't exist, that that is not on the billboard. But how is this possible? It is not available on any digital platform. And not only that, there is no official trailer, and all the ones that you can find on the internet are absolutely fake. There is no official poster either, they are all made by the community. And obviously, it didn't come out of March either. Even if we click on the Minecraft link that they had posted, you will see that this page no longer exist but why has it taken so long and why is nothing known yet for this reason the minecraft movie never came out welcome back to bobbycraft to start with all this story, we have to get back a few years in time, specifically to the year 2014, when Notch, the creator of Minecraft, was still working with Mojang. In the night, Notch announces on his Twitter, someone is trying to leak the fact that we're working with Warner Brothers on a potential Minecraft movie. I want it to be the leak. And it is, in this moment, that it is confirmed that Notch was working with Warner Bros. Curiously, this movie was one of the last projects that Notch had done for Minecraft, before retiring and leaving the purchase to Microsoft. So, when Warner Bros. and Mojang started working together on the movie, they reached an agreement to make it live action. But what is a live action? Okay, these are movie adaptations in real life, something like the latest ones from Sony, that everything is set in real life. So we will see something like this. However, the Mojang guys are not film experts. They didn't even know how to make a good story for a movie. We don't have any good idea for the story about Minecraft. That's why in all the movies there has to be a director. So the Mojang team proposed Sean Levy to be the director of the Minecraft movie. But the question here is who is Sean Levy? Well, some movies that he has directed are The Adam Project, Night at the Museum, Real Steel, Arrival, The Sesame Street movie, among many and many more. But a short time later, this director Sean Levy was fired and he no longer took charge of the Minecraft movie. The reason for his dismissal was because when Levy Levy showed the story that he had planned for Minecraft, the Mojang team didn't like it. I'm sorry Sean Levy, you don't have the vision of our game, you're out of the project. In an interview, Sean says that he's sorry, but he wasn't really clear about what the Minecraft game was like, and that, unfortunately, he wasn't the right one for this project. In that same interview, they asked him what his story was about. He said that obviously he couldn't tell much, but his idea was an adventure film. But when he was talking with the Mojang team, he didn't finish convincing them. A year passed, and they changed directors. Hey Rob McElhinney. Do you want to be the director of our Minecraft movie? Oh yes, yeah, yes, of course! Mojang team thought he was the one, because Rob understood very well the essences of Minecraft, and his ideas were very focused and how the game is. In an occasion, Rob said, Your boss tells you all day what you have to do, as if you had no control of your own life. But the Minecraft game gives you that control and that freedom, and I think it is a very profound experience. With these phrases that the director said, you can clearly see that the director was understanding the most important thing about Minecraft, that you are in control of your own destiny and that the world is ahead of you, where your imagination and your creativity has no limit, the same essence that the developers have planned for Minecraft. So Rob and Mojang accepted the contract. Perfect Rob McElhinney, you are the one for this movie. And finally, the Minecraft movie was perfectly consolidated. Rob McElhenney began to work immediately. Even the director Rob had hired one of the best screenwriters in cinema. The screenwriter name is Jason Fush. This screenwriter participated in the successful film La La Land, the film that has won many awards. Steve Carell was also hired, a very famous actor who at the moment it was known he will be the protagonist. Once the director Rob hired all this perfect team, they began to record the film. The project was going very solidly, so it was a team from Warner Bros, the guys from Mojang and the director Rob working on this film. He spent more than two years and a half directing the film. The recording was going perfectly and practically everything was about to end. Rob all the time take care about the visual effect. The sounds and all the cinematics have been perfect for the game. We don't have 
have any official video. However, it is known that he did a great job. The movie was so advanced that they even announced the release date on the official website of Mojang, who was already deleted today. The movie had been announced for May 24 of the year 2019. The film was going to be compatible with IMAX theaters and even in 3D cinema. Everything was practically ready and the film was already finishing recording, but the problems started when Jill Messick took his own life. Apparently, she suffered from depression for many years, and she had too much pressure with some scandals that had arisen from other actresses. Jill worked as a producer on several films, and as you can see, she also worked on the Minecraft film. Obviously, the sad news that she took her life caused the Minecraft film to be delayed. Not much information is known about it, but this was the first hiccup the Minecraft movie had. The studio had to shoot down for a while, and all the production was paused, and it was at this time that the Minecraft movie began to fall apart into pieces. Months after, the boss of Warner Bros. was replaced by a new one, and this new director began to make different decisions in all his movies. When this new head of Warner Bros. found out about the Minecraft movie, he didn't like the ideas they had taken for the movie. The new head of Warner Bros. and his team ended up firing the director Rob, the one that had worked on this movie for two and a half years. All the filming, all the story, and all the director's work just went for nothing. The new team at Warner Bros. had different ideas. And wanted in theory to improve the film. The director Rob was interviewed to see what he thought about his firing and he said, I don't have any hard feelings and I understand. I understand how this works. The thing that burned me out, what discouraged me the most is that it was two and a half years of my life. I was about to move to Vancouver to start a preparation. The Steve Carell deal was done. We were making the movie with this kind of numbers and this kind of skill. We talk about 150 million dollars. Everything can fall apart at any moment, you have to live in that mystery and that uncertainty. Everything changed with ideas of the new head of Warner Bros. and also combined with the fact that AT&T bought Warner Bros. All that movie that had been made, we will never see it. And they practically started the whole movie from scratch again. And it was in the year 2019 where they assigned a new director for the Minecraft movie, Peter Solid. And until this day, he's still the director of Minecraft movie. And not only that, Warner Bros. hired the writer of Frozen 2. With all this information, you can see that the new boss of Warner Bros. Won wanted it to be a more children's movie. And what is known about the Minecraft movie is that some teenager boys will have to play Minecraft and maybe defeat the dragon. So far, nothing else is known about the film. We don't even know if it will continue to be made. The only thing that is known is that Warner Bros. delayed many movies due to the pandemic. The most reasonable thing that it hasn't been released on March 4, 2022 is the pandemic. But Moyang hasn't said anything at all about the future of this film. And what do you think about all this? Tell me below, but I don't know about you, not it's quite sad that a whole movie made that looked really good just got scrapped because of new boss issues, but don't lose faith, I hope this future movie will be quite entertaining. Click left for more interesting Minecraft cases, and on the right you have a video suggested by the YouTube algorithm. Remember that you can already order my book here below in the description.